What do you do before you get to the airport? If you have an early morning flight, right. airports have upstairs and downstairs. Upstairs is departures, downstairs is arrivals. Be a contrarian traveler. Don't go to departures. You'll be stuck in traffic for hours. Huh. You go downstairs to arrivals, take wow. the escalator up, beat everybody. You save 10 to 15 minutes. That's just for starters. But wait, it gets better. What wait. did I tell you about Peter? Well, no, it's simple, right? But right. it's it better because when you land, have your friends pick you up at Departures. Departures. Because downstairs, right. There's no one there. Right, because downstairs. Right now, don't you want to go fly somewhere right now? <laughs> You're like, oh, well, I'm going to go try that tomorrow. Because remember, when you get back there, everybody else is down in the arrival section. You are the coolest of okay. the coolest. Now, here comes the fun part. Okay. Everybody wants a great seat on the plane. We all know the seats are getting smaller and they're getting more crowded. Yep. I have a little solution here. Okay. You go by the individual plane themselves. Here is a 757. Do we have it right yeah, there? I can there see it is. It. Okay. There it is. Now watch. What do you think is the secret seat? It's not on the a 757. Yeah, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not the exit row and it's not the bulkhead seat. Everyone wants a bulkhead seat. The only people who should be allowed to sit in the bulkhead seats are kids so they can kick the wall in front of them and not and you. And not you. Okay. So now, here comes the secret seats. 10A and 10F. Why? Did you notice there's no 9A and there's no 9F? There's nobody in front of you. Right, totally coach seats. They sell them just the same amount of money as everybody else. And you have all the leg room in the world. And when you need to go to the bathroom, you're not no, crawling out. You just go right you're ahead. You're gonna go right ahead to the toilet. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> But we now, are not worthy. No, it's getting okay. better. Now we're going to go to a bigger plane, the 747. They're still flying out of the United States. Now, you see how big that plane is? That's, no, that's a whopper. And that's a lot of coach seats, and it's bad. It's right? way it's bad. It's bad. But now, where do you think the secret seats are in there? These are secret coach seats. Secret coach seats. I have no idea. Hey, I feel so nervous. It's, but you're, you'll never guess it because it's totally counterintuitive. Here it comes. You're in the back of the plane way in the back of the plane in a dreaded middle seat. But notice this. You notice there's no window seat there? And you notice there's no window seat there. What does that mean? You have all that space to the right of you and all that space in and front of you. And you can get to the toilet and, and they open the back doors yeah. for them too. Yeah. And they open the back doors and the front doors. Okay. I like, I like what everybody said, oh. Uh -huh. I like, that was good. Nobody wants to be delayed on their flight, and all of our flights are delayed, right? They are, okay. So right. what we try to do the right thing, we call ahead and we say, I'm on flight 407, is it on time? Yes, they lie, and then you have a yes. problem, right? right? And then you get to the airport and find out there is no plane. So this is what you do before you leave home. It's called old school, pick up the phone, talk to a human being at the airport, or at the airline, and right. say, listen, I'm on flight 407, could you tell me the tail number on the plane that's assigned to my flight? It's on their screen, trust me. And they'll say, oh, it's tail number 97. Okay, great. Where is tail number 97? Let's say you want to go to Boston. They say, oh, tail number 97's in Belize. You're not going to Boston. <laughs> so you have the wonderful comfort of being disappointed in your own home. And you and can that, stay there and watch a movie before or, you have to go to the airport. <laughs> or now that you've established that you know where the plane is, you talk to the nice person on the phone and say, okay, now that we know this, book me on the other flights. All of a sudden, you're not standing in line at the airport, you're ahead of the game, and you're not disappointed in the longest line in the world at the airport.